the whole Johnny Magnificent Mac. And folks, today today I want to talk with you about something that, is, that has been very, very dear to my heart. It's something that average people, most people, struggle with and deal with on a, on a consistent and regular basis, and that is how to get unstuck. See, people seem to be stuck in life, and in that process of being stuck, they don't know how to get free. They, they don't know how to break free, and it's bothering them. They're in the same position they were last week, last year, last month. Um, years, 10, 15, 20 years, they're stuck. They can't get past um, the things that's, that's holding them back in relationships, in job promotion, in in leadership, in managing their own lives. They're just stuck and they don't know why. Well, I subscribe to you today that the average individual is stuck because they've got the brakes on. They put the brakes on in, their, in the car or the vehicle that's taking them to where they want to go at. So they're in the vehicle, the vehicle's all gassed up and charged up and ready to go, and uh, instead of putting on the accelerator, most people are putting on the brakes. And why would put people put on the brakes if they want to move forward fast and succeed? Well, there's a factor of fear. There's a factor of the unknown. There's a factor of, of not wanting to be embarrassed by doing something that causes embarrassment. So tonight I want to talk with you about a five-step principle that will help you to understand why you're breaking, how you're breaking, and how to unbreak yourself so that you can move forward to the success that you desire and deserve. So let me get right into it. The first, uh, we're breaking this down to an acronym. When you break yourself, that means when you put the brakes on, when you stop the forward progress in your life, it all begins with the letter B comes by in the, in the word break, B-R-A-K-E, the breaks of, of stopping. The B stands for belief. Now see, the belief that you have, the belief in yourself, the belief in the systems that you deal with, the belief in the people that you deal with, the belief in the processes that you deal with, that whole belief. See, what you begin to believe is what you will begin to express. And what you express or speak or utter becomes the thing that you will see manifested in your life. So if you want to see something different manifested, if you want to see something different uh, come about and, and become the reality that you experience, then you must check your belief. You must understand and know what you believe because what you believe is what you receive. So your belief system, your belief structure, and the fund of your belief, the, the whole totality of what you believe is what is necessary to take the brakes off. For when you take the when you change your belief, when you change what you see in your spirit, in your mind, in your core being, when you change that, you're able to achieve more because now you understand what you want and you understand what you believe. What you believe begins to create a uh, a manifestation of what you will see. Now, if you don't want to see it, then you have to change what you believe. And what you believe on that inside will begin to express itself on the outside. So the first step uh, in stopping yourself is changing and understanding and dealing with what you actually believe. Now the second one is resolve. What you resolve to do, what you decide to do. When you resolve to do something, that means that you've made up your mind, that you've made a decision, and that you're going to move forward on it. Too often, we make up the decision not to move at all, not to do anything. We make a decision to just stay there, to stay stuck. We make a decision to not move forward or to put the foot on the brake so that we can't move forward. And that's the most important and crucial element of all, what you resolve. What you have resolved is what will be uh, exp be. be transported and planted into your life because when you resolve to do it that resolve brings forth the action necessary to do it so I, I submit to you that resolve is an important an element in your success and acceleration towards your success as anything is so you have to resolve to do better you have to resolve to be better you have to resolve to finish what you start or to finish so you can start and next is the letter A aspiration what do you want you know, most people never receive 
anything or they receive less than they desire to because they have no clue of what they want. Oh, sure, they want a big house. They want to be rich. They want to be successful. They want to be a winner. But there's no clear-cut understanding of what that winning is, what that richness is, what that success is. So until you get to the point where you actually understand and can pinpoint and you have a written process or written a uh, program down of actually what you want you'll receive less than what you want and you'll always be wondering why you're not getting more well the reason you're not getting more is because you haven't decided what you want when you know what you want when you know specifically with clarity and absolute certainty what you want then it's it's easy to get it it's not it's not just going to be a cakewalk where you just because you know it just automatically comes but because you do know you're able to know where to go to look for it and you're able to move forward with uh with direction discipline focus so that you can achieve it and that's very very important and next is knowledge you see you have to know what you want but then you have to know what it is that encompasses what you want the knowledge the fund of knowledge that you develop from from childhood to adulthood and all the way through life it, it, that fund of knowledge continues to expand and to grow but knowledge once gained casts a light beyond its, its immediate boundaries so you have to in knowing you're able to keep growing those that know are able to grow but the lack of knowledge is the, is the the principal thing that causes a lack of growth a lack of movement a lack of accomplishment so knowledge is supreme but to get to the point where you have knowledge for knowledge's sake, you know, you have a, so many people that are, that are educated. They have all the knowledge in the world and don't know what to do with it. So knowledge, as I say uh, in my, my recent book, What's Luck Got to Do With It? Luck means letting understanding control knowledge. So knowledge is important, but then when you get an understanding and be, you're able to now process that knowledge, and appropriate it so that it gets the end result that you're looking for, then you can take your foot off the brakes and you're able to move forward with acceleration and expediency. And that's important. And finally, the E in break, B-R-A-K-E, belief. Uh, have to have that belief. Resolve. Must have that resolve. Aspiration. You must know what you want and why. And, and, and the, the process becomes easy. And then you have to have a knowledge. That knowledge base makes everything possible and uh, more easily accomplishable. And finally is E for execution. You know, um, uh, Napoleon Hill in his epic book, Think and Grow Rich, and it's one of the books that I've read over and over throughout uh, the years, he talks about, in the chapter he talks, he calls it inspiration to action. Ladies and gentlemen, if I can say one thing that, re that, that resonates with you more than anything, it's that concept of inspiration to action, execution. When you have that something inside that pushes you to act when you don't want to, when you don't feel like it, when you know when you think that, that, that you'll fail but you act anyway. When you when you just do it, when you're up against a trouble, meet it squarely face to face. So lift your chin, set your shoulders, take plant your feet and take a brace. When it's vain to try and do the do it all in spite of all that you can do, running one will not save you. See it through. When you have to when you can see it through and you know within your being that it's gonna be difficult, that it might be impossible, but you do it anyway. That execution of the plan, that execution of the knowledge, that execution of the aspiration, that execution of the resolve, that execution of the belief is what brings into uh, into into uh, the experience, into the reality, and into the manifestation in our lives of what we really are after. And I submit to you tonight that if you take your foot off the brakes, if you believe correctly, if you resolve within, with, with, without, without reservation, if you have aspiration without reservation, if you have knowledge that you allow understanding to control, and finally, if you execute, if you engage in massive action, if you engage in, in, in targeted, focused action, you can have what you want, and there's nothing that will stand in your way. So tonight, today, I implore you to take your foot off the brakes, to unbreak yourself, and go to forward toward that which you really want. This is Johnny Mac, better known as Johnny Magnificent, bringing you this word that will encourage you and bless you so that you can go further. Have a wonderful day.